pressure was on the home team for the Global Champions League of Monaco. This exciting new team competition made its debut in front of a packed stand. The Monaco Aces in the previous eight rounds had only finished out of the top four on just one occasion. He's made his, yes. he's made his brilliant ride. Could they keep up this incredible, consistent record and defend their position at the top of the overall league rankings? Let's see what happens. Their first rider will be Daniel Blumen, his sixth appearance. In the smallest arena on the Lee, Monaco Aces didn't disappoint. They stamped their mark, being the only team to sail through to round two on zero faults. Also through were Doha Furs and Qatar with Fala Al Ajami picking up just one fault for the team. Going through on four faults were Rome Gladiators, Antwerp Diamonds, alongside Valkensvard United. Still very close. The tight arena saw poles fall for the likes of Kevin Jochems and the Cannes Stars. Vienna Eagles' Danielle Goldstein also picked up 12 faults and pushed them out of contention for round two. The iconic harbour setting was the backdrop for an exhilarating second round. For the eight teams through, it soon became clear that faultless rounds were to be the defining factor in the results. Clear rounds mounted with Scott Brash, Laura Rennick, Athena Narses, Daniel Blumen, and both members of the Paris Jets team all securing faultless rounds. Nicola Philippots does the business. It's double clear for the team riders in the second round. However, an unfortunate miss from Fala Al Ajami saw team at Doha Furs and Qatar out of the running. Young Jasper keeping an eye on Mummy as she comes to the last. Falkensvard United on the four faults. So it all came down to the home team. Monaco Aces and Skylar Riley needed to keep their scorecard clear. We saw the way she tackled the first round. I mean, she's not one to hang around anyway. But it wasn't meant to be. An unlucky eight faults pushed Monaco Aces off the top spot and into second place. It's all over. The top of the podium was once again regained by Falkensvard United. Yeah, tops. Charlie Kasaraki and Dan Fizori, our presentation party. Second place went to Monaco Aces with third place filled by Antwerp Diamonds. I thought after the first round if we could get on the podium we'd be doing well. And then uh, we both jumped there again and uh, kept sneaking up the leaderboard a bit. Yeah, sure, I think he put us back on track. Bertrand came to talk to me in the warm-up and say, you know, you're naturally fast, don't need to go crazy fast. I think it's enough for us to be in the podium and then it worked well for the win. It's clear that the overall battle for the 7.5 million euro championship prize is as close as ever. There's just a three-point gap at the top of the table. Monaco Aces still sit top, though, as we head to the next leg in Paris.